what's going on gamers it is ice creamy or joker over here again in 522 bringing you another video wahoo so in this video guys today i wanted to just touch on the most recent changes um between this recent update and the all new trading hub i wanted to walk you guys through every single thing that has changed and i'm going to refer to this um message from the developers a little bit throughout this video um hopefully it's a quick one to um kind of circle back into so your first change right here and it's all pretty self-explanatory but i will walk you through all of, of the changes in person through the hub or whatnot as well i just um i just made a video tonight actually about the um lowered uh payload for lower tier troops i'm sorry the lower payload for higher tier troops and then uh, how to uh, combat that as well um uh, but anyways let's start so first change is is in combat during monster rally so like when you're rent went oh my goodness when you're rallying on wendell's and apparently i can't talk tonight and or adjudicators uh once your rally is full you have now the option to march upon a full rally so instead of waiting say you put a timer out for uh you know 60 minutes or 45 minutes and your rally became full in 10 minutes well at that 10 minute mark you could go ahead and march so it saves you a little bit of time not a crazy change but it is useful second change is the troops increase march speed and payload for low tier troops for like t1 t2 three basically t all the way up to t5 they they increased the uh, march payload for lower tier for those lower tier troops and they decreased it 49 so now i was i was uh and i could show you i just did a video on it i recommend watching that video um but if you can see so yesterday in my trader farm um i was able to plunder 914,000 cash today in f2 31 minutes ago now i can only plunder 685 so the simple solution to that is to go into your vehicle factory use vehicles because they carry more go all the way to the t1 and then right there you can see the march load is th is 33 so train a bunch a full apc um full of uh, t1 vehicles um right here it's 19 so quite the big difference actually um so go ahead and train a full apc of t1 vehicles and raid with that just use good heroes so that you don't lose that battle but that's how you do it uh, let's go back here to the announcement as well. So troops increased march speed and payload for low tier troops. So they move faster as well. And they carry more now. I don't know why they did this. This is the most useless thing. But anyways, I'm not here to judge. Um, I'm sure they'll change this soon. Lowered marching speed. Uh, differences between the three unit types. So the fighters and the shooters were notoriously slow. Um, the vehicles were super fast. I don't have an example of what to use because I don't keep track of how long it takes my my shooters to say um, go to the farm. So I used to. I, let's let's see if we can come up with an example. I believe it used to take. Um, oh wow! It used to take seven seconds, six to seven seconds, um, for my my shooters here to get to that farm so this is actually going to come in real handy when you're porting in into people and actually attacking them so you can say port into them you can attack um and then you can only <laughs> it's only going to take you four seconds for your shooters to go ahead and attack that means you have a realistic chance even without using a speed up to attack that base with with um with fighters and or um, shooters as well so that's a pretty cool change actually now that i sit down and go through it i haven't sat down and went through any of this stuff um besides the uh, commercial hub before this video so cut me some slack also guys if you're watching up until this point do me a solid and subscribe to my channel it helps me and if i'm gonna grow you guys are gonna grow i'm gonna keep making these videos share the love while we're out here sitting in uh, quarantine guys i hope you all are staying safe all right so let's finish it so you can see that your march time for shooters is significantly decreased i'll probably only have to use one one or two speed ups now compared to like three or four um and fighters let's see here fighters are now four seconds as well so that's a pretty cool change i totally dig it that's great wonderful moving on next change is going to be the parts factory 
So we've already covered the uh, rally. You can march upon a full rally. The troops, basically, you need to use lower troops if you're trying to get more cash now. And then the second change with the troops as well is a lower marching speed time for shooters and um, fighters. So that's awesome. That's a great change. Um, parts factory. So number one, the materials can now be produced in batches. That means instead of producing one material, you'll produce batches of five or ten, depending on green or white materials. Number two, decrease production time for some materials. So my guess is the more rare materials, um, you cannot go ahead. You cannot. Basically, they didn't change. But say for the non-rare materials, and I can give you an example of one of those non-rare materials. That would be um, like one of these right here, the steel wire. Um, for five of them, it's going to take six hours. So that's a huge change. So now with green materials, you can do five at a time. With white materials, you can do ten at a time. Go back to green materials. That's what I'll use. In in 6.5 almost hours, you can craft five of these guys. So basically 6, 12, 18, 24. You can craft about 20 of these, um, four, four of these per day. And that would come out to about 20. So whereas it would take longer to craft one, before this update now you can craft five in even a shorter amount of time obviously this will be a more rare one to craft five it's going to take you uh 12 point 12 hours 55 minutes 13 hours basically but that's a huge gain guys so those of you who are not trying to spend an arm and a leg on some gold parts they just made it effectively more than five times faster for us to craft parts five times faster so that's huge that is a great update and one to uh be thankful for so let's continue reading on here um parts factory material production speed greatly enhanced yes we just went over there and greatly decrease the energy core costs for purple and below set prices now i have not checked this out we can walk through it um right now though say we want to go to materials I'll, I'll go over here i got some materials for um Apparently, the ranger doesn't have any more, more materials. Let's just go to craft. Let's see if we can go to the dreadnought and craft, say, a purple part. If we're trying to craft a purple part um, or anything below orange, essentially, it's only going to take... Wow, so you can look down here. It's only going to take 882 um, diamonds and 1.8k energy cores um, to go ahead and craft that. I don't have an example of what it was before, but rest assured, I'm sure it's a good change. So let's see how much it is just for the heck of it. So even for the orange part, 7.1K, that's not terrible. I don't really think that changed too much. And like they said, it didn't change too much for, whoops, wrong one, for purple only purple and below so orange and gold they're pretty much the same as far as how much it takes to uh how many energy cores it takes to craft that uh, my recommendation here is just always be um be making energy cores always make chips and always make energy cores um, so that way when the time comes for you to for you to unlock and grow your training camps and your specialty buildings, or I'm sorry, your you know like specialty warfare buildings, I'll call them, um, that it happens pretty quickly. So if you want to get gold parts, you're going to have to gamble. If you want to uh, uh, even be remotely able to go ahead and gamble for those parts, guys, you need to be always, always, always cooking chips. Anyways, back to the update. So uh, we went over the combat, the troops, the parts factory, now the heroes. So number one, the hero inspect mode added. Tap the center area of the hero interface to enter inspect mode. I tried this. It's dumb, uh, but I don't know if, <laughs> if any, everybody else is going to agree or disagree with me. Who cares? Um, anyways, for instance, Iron Guard. Click on Iron Guard. Do you want to go? Well, this is not a good example because apparently he doesn't have a picture. So let's go to the professional. Click in the middle. And we go in inspect mode. I was assuming that you could like do a circle with him and maybe he'd look 3D or something. But really, I'm going up and down on my screen now. I'm going left and right. E nothing special. Um, and then the last change as well. well actually, second to last change is uh, disassembling is back. So green heroes, you can now disassemble again. Go back to the green hero. Not on the first page. Scroll over to the left page. Whoops, scroll. You can't scroll. My bad. Top right-hand corner where I'm tapping. Hit that book. And then in the bottom left of this corner right there where I'm tapping, you can hero split again. 
I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I'm probably going to make that the thumbnail. So anyways, it's back. Split your green heroes. We are good to go. So let's recap from the latest update because they usually don't um, release this many changes as an, in an update. Figured I would make a video, make everybody's lives a little bit easier. So number one, you can, uh, you can, uh, ugh, I can't talk tonight. You can march upon a full rally. Once your rally is full, you can march easy troops increase march speed and load for lower tier troops if you're trying to raid your farms use lower tier one or two troops it changes after two uh, one and two are the same lower marching speed uh, your your fighters and shooters are now going to um, be able to attack a little bit quicker you don't have to use as many speed ups now thank goodness parts factory you can produce in batches batches of five and i didn't show you this so i did actually five for green i'll show you again and 10 for white so that's a huge 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 change um come back here the speed at which they produce is a lot quicker so they effectively five six probably six to seven times faster now we'll be able to craft gold sets so that is huge that is a great change i'm so happy they did that um energy core uh, cost reduction for purple and or below so if you're crafting parts you should know that the best way to do it is to get a bunch of energy cores i'll do another video on this eventually um get enough energy cores like hundreds of thousands of them and then gamble gamble for purple parts combine them into orange parts gamble for um uh more <laughs> more purple parts combine them and combine them and combine them all the way until you have a gold that's just one strategy however there are many ways to do it or if you're rich just spend i don't recommend that though um heroes we went over the inspection mode nothing special uh and then the second change uh disassembling or the hero split is back so overall a nice update although i have no idea why they changed the uh, payload capacity for t9 troops that in my opinion i i, I don't know you can leave uh i'll leave you to uh, formulate your own opinions on that um now also the trading cup is completely different now so let's walk through this the choppers will now bring much better merch as well as the ability to refresh the stock. That's cool. So details. The trading hub will now spawn even more amazing merch. This is the same thing they just said in the last sentence. And as it is upgraded, more and more stock will be added as well as a shorter arrival span. So it sounds like if the, the more we upgrade our hub the better trades we're going to get and it's actually not trades anymore but the better purchases we'll get and i'll show you what i mean uh two new item type cash and replace cash and replace this is great grammar the previous resource sell function so instead of selling your resources now what's happening is you're going to have to buy the cash using resources instead of i don't know it's the same thing uh number three refresh function added diamonds can be used to refresh items removal of the chopper removal of the call chopper function the call chopper item will be re uh, replaced for a free refresh so we'll get um hopefully still a free refresh or two per night and that will help us utilize this hub a little more effectively because you can't really call it in now apparently you have to refresh it because the hub the helicopter is always here i don't know um trader trait changes now becomes negative five on purchasing price so at the hub you're going to get a uh, five percent off of your um buys uh change following skills so this is going to talk about hero skills now your esquire your industrial and your organizer um to be honest guys i don't even use these I don't want to waste uh, the metals on them, um, but we can walk through them anyways. With the Esquire now, um, boost chopper arrival, um, food <laughs> food obtain. I don't know what that means because that grammar is terrible. Uh, it it's going to increase the amount your chopper, the time that your chopper will stay at the hub. Um, you'll obtain cash. A, I'm sure it's a small amount of cash when the chopper arrives now, um, and then a buying pr price decrease. So Esquire could be useful. You want to use it? Use it let me know how it goes um industrialist it's boost choppers arrival food obtain i don't know what that means it's not good english um increase your chopper stay time that's self-explanatory obtain cash when choppers arrive so if you have all three of these heroes it looks like you're going to obtain a little bit of cash when the chopper arrives i don't know how much that's going to be um that should be easier for you to figure out if you do have these heroes um organizer increases the uh length of the chopper stay and again obtains cash uh six some tutorial changes on trading hub relating context i don't know what that means that literally means nothing Thing. so let's anyways go back out to the the hub i got 16 minutes left uh, level 16 hub let's see what it will give me if i click trade now oh yeah that's right they don't have the uh, function there so 
you can't call it anymore um, you can go ahead and refresh though so first change i see is this is the, the interface is totally different um, but it looks like now i'm buying cash with resources rather than quote unquote trading effectively it's the same thing but i can get let's see 750 there's 1 million and there's 2 million cash for a very small amount of resources i like that that actually works out really good for me personally um because i was only able to trade for about 600 uh, 800,000, 800,000 cash at level, what was it? I'd already forgot. Um, level 16. So now you can come in here. I'll just go ahead and do these trades. I'm going to trade that. You can see my money's at 12 million. Oh, I'm sure it's in the box. So I was at 9.4 million after this trade. Let's go buy this, buy that. Uh, I need some electricity. Let's get that electricity too. I was at 9.4, 10 point, so a million. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. It should have been 2 million. I'm going to assume it was 2 million. Now you can get some resources, some speed ups as well. I don't need much resources. Actually, I could use um, some iron. Iron is like gold in this game. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's press the free button as well. Uh, confirm, reset, refresh. Yes. Okay, cool. So now I can... And if you've noticed, the amount required is increased um, on some of these. But now I can buy another two million in cash. Wow, that's actually pretty cool because cash is killer in this game. So twelve million, eleven point one in stock. Technically, I should be able to get two million. That would add up to be thirteen point one million. Let's see if it works. Oh, I don't have water. I'm gonna buy water real quick. I'm gonna go to the VIP shop. I, for the sake of this video, let's grab some water. Whoa, not 50. I like how they do that though. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Now we have water. What I won't use when I'm trading, I will use to fill up my ration truck to keep my banks moving. So now we have, there you go. There you go, 13.4. Wait a second. Okay, we're back. So, <laughs> fatal miscalculation on my part, actually. So, we were supposed to be at three point, uh, thirteen point one million. We ended up at thirteen point four million. I thought we fell short for a first second, and I was like, "Wait a second, no, we actually exceeded the amount um, that it was supposed to give us." And here's why: because I didn't see it. If you see at the two hundred and fifty right here, there's a two under it, just like there is on some of the other things that you could or you used to be able to trade. So now you can buy, and this is even better. So you can buy instead of uh, so you'll buy one at seven fifty or two at two fifty on some of these. Here's two at two fifty, two at two fifty, one at two fifty, and one at seven fifty. So that's even more than I predicted, which is wonderful. So technically, I was able to get. Um, roughly two, four, and I'll be able to get six, if not seven million cash from the hub for two refreshes for the free one, and then uh, one refresh and actually, so two refresh. So the first, a free refresh, and then I used another refresh for a total of two refreshes, um, and then one, but you know, just from when the helicopter came so about seven million cash now technically you can get in a day that is actually really amazing guys i'm actually kind of impressed at this new update because cash is killer and it is a necessity for all of us and this is a, such an easy way now to gain cash and i i had this thought months and months and months ago i was like i wish they made it easier for us to trade for cash and they have so that is huge i totally love that sorry about the mess up that was my fault for not looking in the bottom and left on the bottom right of that um item but that's huge six seven uh, four, i'm sure it's going to vary every single day but you can get a ton a ton of cash now at the hub more than you were able to um, leaps and bounds more than you were able to before so let's see what did i miss going back to the studio trading hub uh, we talked about the heroes uh talked about the trader tr trait changes the refresh button now you know how to do that um and you saw some of the 
other items you could change for as well. I'm not going to do it like stationing plans, uh, def ugh, defensive components as well um, so that you could upgrade the garrison. I need these, so I'm going to actually go ahead and buy that. Speed ups as well, resources as well. I might as well go ahead and get some iron while we're doing this. I should have done that last time too. Even, uh, even uh, electricity I need. So anyways, pretty cool. I hope that sheds a little bit of light. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, ended up being a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that is fine. Guys, um, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Please support me. You have supported me well to this date. I appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Until next video, have a good night.